1970 Land Rover. Going to do the oil filter, change the oil and the fuel filter on it. So I'm going to warm the engine up now, pull it out, warm the engine up and uh, drop the oil. Get that videoed. Warming up. This has the 200 TDI engine fitted. I didn't do the engine conversion. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let it warm up, then we're going to drop the oil out, change the filter. Here she is, warmed up for about 10 minutes or so. Parked over my little pit there. I'm going to drop the oil out of it now. <clears throat> Just set up underneath. Got it in gear, handbrake on, and I can see problems already. So, that nut, the sump plug, is a little bit rounded off. So, I hope I'm going to be able to get this out. We will be able to get it out. Um, but without too much trouble. Oh, very easy. We've got the customary Land Rover leaks, as you can see. wasn't on very tight at all. There we go. Get ready with the oil pan. And there we go. There's the oil and filter I'm going to use. That is just um, standard mineral oil. That there's nothing special. No, no tricks in there. Not synthetic or anything. Um, I got fifteen forty because it's the same as a tractor that I've got a service to do on. Um, you can use ten forty in these uh, two hundred TDIs. And like I say, I got fifteen forty. So it does go in here okay, and um, I've got the mineral oil because, really speaking, this this old truck, this Land Rover, it is a it is a tractor in a sense. It's a sixty mile an hour tractor, so <clears throat> that's just the oil I'm going to use. And here, a new sump plug for washer, and that's the old sump plug. Pretty mauled there. Ready for a new one. These copper washers, if you're not renewing the sump plug, you should really put a new one on. Although, in a pinch, you can take that off. And what I've done in the past with these is hold them with tweezers, get a blowtorch, warm them up till they're glowing red, drop them in water, quench them, and that'll anneal the copper um, so it makes it softer again and you get a seal, so that's what I have done in the past, but best practice to use a new one, which we're going to do in this case. So there we are, set up on the oil filter, I think. Yeah, just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a wipe first. See if I can get it off with just my hand. Sometimes you can get them with just your hands. Yep, they've gone, it's gone. Other times you need to use um, oil filter strap, wrenches. Um, I've got quite a few different ones of these um, for varying levels of access. But yeah, it's gone anyway, that one. There we go. 
Ja. Get a container to catch the oil. Hopefully not too much and hopefully I don't spill it all over the camera. So here we're back with the um, oil pan, oil catcher. Put the sump plug back in because I needed the uh, oil pan to catch what's going to come out of the filter. Um, I'll remove this and carry on uh, letting it drain, let the last bits drip, drip out. Almost off. Ooh. Watch that camera. There we go. Messy part that. What is the messy part? Back up top. Five litres of this into this um, jug. Brilliant these, absolutely brilliant. I think they're only about six pounds from Tool Station. Well worth the money. The reason I've filled this up is so I can use a little bit of this fresh oil on the rubber, rubber, rubber seal of the new filter and I'm going to pour a little bit of this into the filter too. somebody I don't want to speak to. I'm not going to put too much of this uh, oil in this filter, just a, a bit, otherwise it's going to run all down my heart. Um, I'm going to screw it back in place. Should really fill filters up. Um, with a bit of oil. Before putting them back on, it's not always possible. Not always possible, fortunately. Back under the car now. Don't fill the engine up until you put the sump plug back in. <laughs> I 
back under the car. Vehicle. I'll give that away. And mating surfaces. So I've removed the um drain plug again well, that can be again the last bits last dregs out while we refit this <sighs> filter or oh, steady it's got some oil in it is where it runs down your arm Soil off my hands so I can grip it better. Thank you. It. Uh, it up nice. I think it says 20 newton meters on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fine, is that? Yeah, 20 newton meters. That'll be fine now. Yeah, make sure it's in shot. Now uh, we'll let the last dregs drain from the sump before I put the new drain plug in. So the last uh, bit of oil. Being drained out now, it's dripping, I'm going to give it a wipe over. And refit the new sump plug. New sump plug. Ah dear, better go on that. Fit in. That was very nice. Just nip it up with the spanner. No need to go overboard. Should be okay. There we go. This is a fairly long spanner I've got, so there's um, a fair amount of leverage on it. Covering the light up there. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I'll wipe over. Looks like it's ready for a a sump gasket as well at some point. In the near future. Right, back top side and refill the oil. Set up top side now.
So I've got six, uh, about six and a half litres in it, something like that now. Six litres maybe, something like that. We're showing, see that, yeah. Oh, just under the full mark. Next job is the fuel filter. So, um, yeah, we're going to change the fuel filter here with a new one. There we go. So, as I was saying, this took. Oh, this 200 TDI conversion in this 1970 Land Rover series. I didn't do this conversion. Um, another guy did it, and it's a. Uh, it's okay. It's uh, it's acceptable. It runs. It drives. It's on the road. Um, show you a few bits. The wiring is done. That that's substandard, really. The welds are acceptable. They're, they're acceptable then. They're not holding a massive amount of weight. They are acceptable. So the wiring, everything works, but it, these connectors and things, they're, they're substandard then. Really, they want, want to change. You want all that rat's nest there once uh, soldering some proper wiring loom tape or sheathing putting on it but yeah it, it, it runs it drives everything works it's 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 he's not made a bad job of it so we're going to do the fuel filter now You can drain these off before you remove them. Um, I don't think it's going to be necessary with this one. I just want to put some rags underneath it. It's in a nice accessible location so you just unscrew it, be careful with it, um, manoeuvre it out. Where the access is tighter on other vehicles, you're best off draining them really, catching it. But for this one we've, we've got stacks of access. Stacks of it. Well, that was nice and easy. <laughs> Something to stand on so I can control that. A drip spilt from that filter. I think I saw a little drip from the housing go up by the rag, so no need to drain it off. No need to drain uh, that. So the old one's off. New one here. Tipped a bit of diesel into it to get it going, rubbed a little bit round the lip as well, round the uh, rubber, so we'll get this fitted. I haven't filled it to the top. Yeah. 
See, I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera while I'm doing this. Oh dear. There we go. Trying to keep my arm and head out of the way of the camera shot. Makes it a bit difficult. A little bit difficulter than it should be. Just nip it up. Not silly. No need to go mad. And <clears throat> I usually I usually I'd uh, use a vacuum pump to fill the filters. Um, it's a lot lot cleaner than trying to fill them up, manoeuvre them back in. Um, I use something like this. A vacuum pump, very cheap on eBay now. About probably 15 quid. 12 quid or so delivered. Very cheap. Uh, but for this, this has got a lift pump. <coughs> These have got a lift pump. So you can't really use the vacuum pump to fill the filter up. You can use a little lever on the side of the lift pump. I want to remove this. This hose to the inject, uh, injection pump. So we're not air locking, not fighting against the air. Um, put a, a rag there. Catch whatever comes out. Get set up on the other side. So you can see the lift pump. So that's the lift pump there. With the lever on the side. Move that up and down, it'll fill the fuel pump, yeah, fuel filter. <clears throat> there, and these will come out of the hose connection. Now, you can fill these with diesel, um, forego all this undoing this and the lift pump, just fill these with diesel or injector cleaner, screw them, screw it back on, um, and start the, start the engine, and let it idle for 5 10 minutes. I'm showing you this way in case in case you have any trouble with it cutting out or whatever that there is another way um to do this. So I'll try and keep my arm out of the shot so we can see what we're doing. There we go. So that is the way. That is a way how to fill the uh, fuel filter without filling it with diesel before you screw it back on. But there's there's always more than one way to skin a cat. So it's just another way of doing it. So I'll put the connection back on now. Really speaking, it is easier just to fill the the, the fuel filter and let it run. But I wanted to show that. I couldn't see for looking. Seems okay. 
mop the diesel up. Need to wipe over. There we go. Start it and let it run.